Hey guys, so it's been a while. Um, haven't really done anything with the car recently. The uh, bumper still looks how it is. Uh, changed the oil over, but um, I decided I'd give you guys how the engine sounds and everything because I've recently come to the point where after rebuilding the engine, I can now kick it higher than 4K revs. So it's raining right now. Uh, brakes are a bit finicky in the rain for me. Uh, I haven't figured out why that is with the 8086, uh, probably because of lack of the ABS, and I'm not yet used to not having ABS. Um, so, small drive, just listen to the engine, see how she sounds and everything. Roll down my window here. So right now I'm running uh, 205s. I sold my Panas tires uh, and traded them for a pretty good pair of shit. Stupid ass camera position. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So I switched out the Panas tires for a uh, pair of BFs that are pretty good. Um, I kind of regret it because if you listen when I turn the wheel too much, it scrapes against the rear mud flaps. So, not exactly a plus, but let's go listen to this engine. So as I said, I can now rev it above 4K. Oh, the car, I have about 150, 155 horsepower to wheels. Uh, not sure about my torque settings. I'd have to go back to the shop and uh, get those rechecked. But, um, you know, it's not fast. It's not a fast car. That's not why I got it. I got this car because they handle well. And, uh, you know, it really does. It really handles like I want it to. Um, but for not being a very fast car, oh, this motherfucker moves. Moves a lot quicker than I thought it would. Okay, now my brakes are actually engaging how I expect them to. It's interesting, I guess just the track because it's a different asphalt or something, I don't know. But they're behaving today, so could go for a few laps up and down the street. Talk to you guys a bit. So, uh, recently what I've been thinking about is whether or not I should paint this car uh, pan, like the Tranum from uh, the Initial D. And my buddy says, go ahead, do it, definitely rock it. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I, I don't know. I, I've already kind of gotten a name, Silver Drift Wolf on this thing. Uh, at Moroso a couple times I've run it um, so you know I'm not sure uh, should I paint it initial D or should I keep it silver when I repaint it because I've got holes I need to fill I'm uh, gonna get that bumper fixed sooner rather than later hopefully so you know guys tell me whether I should paint it initial D or if I should keep it silver. You know, and I've got people who want to pull in and out of their driveways. Can 
release that clutch. It's nice. She's definitely riding a lot better than she was when I first got her. And that's pretty much the reason I've been postponing making these videos, is because, to be perfectly honest, she's always driven well, but she hasn't driven to like the fullest of the capabilities I could drive. So, I'm happy now that I've got her someplace where I like her, the engine's flowing like it should be. Um, so yeah, plans for the car. Uh, need to change these tires first. That's a good, that's part of it. First, getting a good pair of tires. Uh, I have a four pair of Celica Supras. Don't want to brake too hard, don't want to shock that drivetrain. Because there are hella puddles. And until I'm used to this braking system completely, I'm not fucking with it. Um, New tires, see if I can't get some Watanabe's, probably not, so I'll probably just be, you know, one of them cheap idiots and uh, throw a pair of Hankoots on them. Uh, tires, uh, I still want to get a 20 valve engine for it. I don't need the 20 valve necessarily, but, well, um, but if I want to keep up with those kids, like, on the street, uh, I'm going to have to get a 20-valve, and then for SCCA, a 20 to get a good 20-valve engine. Uh, there was a shop that supposedly had a few, but when I called him up, the guy literally sat there, gave me all the right noises, but uh, didn't know what a 4AG was. Couldn't tell me what it was. Uh, told me they had LS1s and then told me he would uh, call me later and then just hunt up on me. So, not a shop I'm thinking about visiting. Um, looking at trying to get some of the TRD parts, uh, the NA2s, like the brakes, the rotors, you know, all that stuff. I'm trying to find all that. Uh, if I can find some of that, great. Absolutely great. But as it sits right now, it doesn't look like it's going to be very easy. Um, a lot of the places I'm going to keep up with TRD as far as... TRD sells from Toyota from about the year 95 and higher. Uh, the suppliers I'm going to carry about 19... I want to say 92 and about higher. So, unfortunately, finding the right TRD parts are going to be a bit difficult unless I do the eBay thing. And... Not exactly something I want to do. So, get in the reverse, damn you. That is not reverse, that's fourth. Come on. Make sure it is reverse. I don't want to hit this fucking tree. years like I'm three years old all right let's take her back home um so I've still got plans you know the basic body work the engine work all that stuff uh, There's a light in there, that's interesting. But, um... Try not to fishtail it into my goddamn parking lot. 
Please don't fish tail on me, you motherfucker. Come on. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. How my wipers even looking? Uh, that one we need to replace. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'll stop frying you. Calm down. Does do either of these heaters work? I guess those need the AC system to work because I uh, took that out. Okay. Oh, wait. That one turns on. Which one is that? Is that my back or the front? Well, she didn't set on fire, so that's a plus. Uh, pop her out. Parking brake. So, that's pretty much my plan, is I'm trying to get this track ready for SCCA. Um, I'm hoping two years, maybe. Uh, as far as what class I'm entering, I honestly don't know right now, because two years, quite a bit can change, and there's not very many classes that the A86 is still competitive in, that they're still allowed in. Um, definitely maining it a drift car, though. Uh, I mean... This car is certainly something. I went up against the Buddy's 13 Mustang and somehow beat it drifting. Uh, mostly because he had to brake so hard for those turns. You know, maybe it, maybe if he had better technique, maybe if he knew how to drive his car better, I I, I probably would have lost. I will admit that. But um, I don't know what it is. There's something about this car. Everyone keeps trying to tell me, you know, 2JZ it, man, or 1JZ even. You'll go flying. I can't do it. Whatever it is about this 4AG engine, it's got my heart fucking sold. So, that was my first ride-along vlog, pretty much, just to tell you, hey, I'm alive. Uh, my plans for the car at the moment. My next step is to get it from being drift uh, track only to daily drive. So right now I'm working on getting the money for, you know, the insurance, the plates. Uh, but once that's done, once I get the plates and everything done, the next step is getting that bumper fixed, getting the rust holes filled in the rear wells, the trunk lid, and then after that I'm going to get it painted. Uh, whether I keep the silver color or do something else, I'm not sure yet. I'd like to keep the silver color to keep the nickname, but I don't know yet. Um, thinking about getting a manual rack in there. Uh, I've currently got a power steering rack on there, but I've shut off the power steering. I've recircled the lines, so I have no power steering pretty much at all, and the motor still goes. So, a manual rack would definitely be better, but as it sits right now, it's not so big a problem. Uh, the only problem is, again, I'm running 205 BFs, and those are scraping against the rear, the front rear mud flaps and chassis and I, I would have thought I'd have enough clearance because there are 13s which is what I was running it before with the Panasas but so I'm probably just going to slap the uh, Celica wheels on there but I don't know I, I feel as though it would be weird if I didn't also stick the uh, what the fuck's this on the windshield that's fucking weird that's a weird ass fog what the hell Interesting. Huh. Alright, um, the rear wheels I have is 15, so I don't know if I want to trade everything to a 14 Super Celica wheel. Uh, I won't make it as rear heavy as I have it now. I figure something out. I've got to finish rewiring these secondary gauges here. Um, I'm not sure about the back seat. I like keeping the back seat in there, to be honest, because then I can still keep it as the daily drive I want it to be. But um, that's about it, really, right now. I'm hoping the transmission and everything stays pretty solid. It stayed pretty solid for a while now which for 30 years isn't bad. The wiring's starting to go a bit in places. I've noticed that. The... That was the right turn signal just clicking once. And the left one causes the brake light to flash. There we go. So, 
my switch is definitely fucked as far as turn signals. Uh, the brights work. Close. Thank you. Uh, the brights work, so the whole switch isn't fucked, but it's something I have to work on. Alright, well, that was fun. It always is. Uh, can't wait to have it out in the street and actually, you know, have her going on the street, because that'll be a definitely a good milestone. Um, I'm not going to like all the attention I'm going to get from this car. I'm honestly not, but uh, I'm going to have to deal with it, so. Alright, well, until next time, or until I figure out something else to complain or talk about on the blog, you know, drift happy, dude.